Hello guys, this is Death Teller and welcome back to another episode of our single player survival. And well, today, as you can see, I found some of the new 1.11 features up in the back. You'll see right above me, I found some llamas. Yes, I'm out looking for some leather for a project we're going to be working on today. But this is the first episode I'm releasing since we have reached 500 subscribers. I'd just like to say thank you, keep up with all your support, likes, comments and all that stuff. It is a very big help and make sure to share the video and stuff around just so that we can grow some more because our next milestone is 1000 subscribers. But yeah, today what I've got planned is, well, I want to get enchanting on enchant station set up so I can get some enchants. That's why I'm out looking for leather so that I can make the bookshelves. And I'm also going to start work on our milestone hall now. When I... I first came up with this concept when I was brainstorming for projects on the Vulture SMP server and instead of building it on there, we're going to build it on here, which I think is a better idea. Oh, and we've got a village and a desert temple coming up, so I guess we should go and check that out together when we're here, why not? Yes, it's a good idea. And then we'll go and do our own thing, yes. Okay guys, sorry about that little cut there, but... Yeah, things happen, so I decided just to go and collect all the leather I needed and come back to base. So, in the end, we have well over a stack of leather, so that should be enough for our enchant setup. But, before we get started on today's project, I want to take a look at what I've been doing off camera, because I've done some work so I extended out this way. Um, went with the same design we had for there, because I, I actually quite like it. It's good for um, separating two parts of the base. And um, I've also forgot... Because well, I was growing the grass out here, as you can see, yeah, it takes some time to do and just need to fix it. I really wish it took, it didn't take as long. But yeah, we made another segment out here where we were going to have a walkway, so put stairways down there, and then down there, take us to other parts of the base. And down here is going to be our milestone hall, so we'll have armour stands, put some armour on it have a chest below them and it'll say like say how many subscribers we've got or viewers or something and we'll put something in the chest something valuable so I'm thinking for the 500 subscribers we're going to put in our first pickaxe because well yeah it's almost used up and I won't get much use out of it after it well after it anyway I've also been doing some mining so <laughs> I'm all over the place today and I've got, a, I've got an old chest of stuff I need to find and yeah, I've got some more diamonds and a bunch of other stuff. Found some emeralds when I was out and yeah, golden apples and plenty of other things. I've also been working on the pathways as well out this way so you can see I've done some work, done a little bit of terraforming uh, as you can see. I'm not happy with this path just yet but yeah, yeah we're getting there. Also been doing a hell of a lot of farming, getting resources because well, you know me, I like to hold things. Which in fact I'll just show you that as well whilst we're here because well why not. I'm also going to, well I killed a hell of a lot of kills so I'm working on getting all the food cooked up. So yeah we've got a lot. I've also logged my, F, my frames per second, um, 60, 60 being the max just so there isn't as much fluctuations with frames because you can notice it. But yeah, this is working, going good, so I'm going to get started, I'm going to build the little enchanting area and we'll come back when we start doing some enchanting. Okay, so I've built the enchanting table and built all of the bookshelves. I haven't decorated the room yet, but we're going to get started on enchanting. So we're going to enchant our first ever enchanted tool, which is going to be the iron pickaxe. So it's said that we're going to have unbreaking three, but we may have more than just that. And of course it's just unbreaking three, but well what can you do? It's only it's better than nothing I guess. And it just means you can mine for a lot longer. Okay, well I best get on with it. So I was out mining and I died. Damn it. Well I just got back, I decided to bring a shield for once because skeletons are brutal, especially when you don't have any good armor. Got all my stuff back, nothing was destroyed. But I lost all my levels, which the only reason I kept mining was for levels so that I could do some more enchanting. 
which is going to take even longer now. Brilliant. Okay guys, so it's been five hours since the last clip. I haven't actually been playing all that time. I've been AFK, but I've still been in the world. And yeah, I've been harvesting the farm a few times, we've done some mining, and we were finishing them off. So how do you think it looks? It's, it's pretty basic, not doing much. And I, I decided to put some chests in, in here so you can store enchanting books and any other uh, in bulk enchanting stuff. Just in case we run out of space in these chests for tools or books. Well, armor or anything else. I've also run out of space for my stone related chest, so we're going to need to create bulk storage silos elsewhere in the base. So, yeah, also, I have organized this. Oh, perfection. Yeah, I, I, I do this a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it just shows you how much resources we have. So, we have more than four stacks of iron. A lot of redstone, a lot of lapis, quite a bit of gold, quite a bit of diamonds as well, and a bunch of coal. And we need some more coal though, because I'm, I'm burning through an offer, and quite an amount. Also, I've been mining out an area here so that we can start work on the hall. And I've only re just, just realised this, but all the things in the video so far, because I've already edited everything else, um, Oh yeah, I've been harvesting some wood as well because I ran out. I thought it would take us up to like 10 minutes or something, but it's only been like 5. Let's hold on one moment. Yes, 5. And I just opened Steam accidentally. Oh no. But yeah, um, I've done a lot of the work quite quickly. Also, since, I, since my death, since I've been mining, I've got quite a... Well, most of the levels back, I only need another 8 levels and then we can do another enchantment. But we're going to need to get an XP farm of sorts up and running, which I think in maybe the next episode we're going to start work on the cave spider spawner thing. Yes, sorry, just tabbed out, just my steam came up. So yeah, also before we continue on the episode, I'd just like to talk to you guys. What are you guys thinking about the base so far? Right, so I'm just going to, going to take a look at it from here. Yeah, yeah, I'll just pillar up using wood because I have a lot of it. Damn the shield, yeah. So how do you think this is looking? Yeah, the outside of it, it's not looking too good, but we're working on it. But everything we've done so far in the series, because what, we're in episode 4? Yeah, episode 4 so far. I haven't even organised everything into a playlist yet, that's not like me. But yeah, I need you guys' suggestions because yeah, I've got a kind of basic idea of what, of what I do. Like, basic farms and stuff and then some more kind of fun projects around the world. But yeah, it would be simple things like, say, building things in this plains biome because I want to do some stuff. And then some stuff in the village and other things in the mesa. Also, when I was mining earlier, I found another abandoned mine shaft and some more. What, another cave spider spawn? I think I found two close together. Yeah, the spawners in this world are pretty good. The ones I've found anyway. Just hold on. Hmm. I think this clip we're recording right now is the longest one we've made so far. <laughs> uh, silly me. But yeah, I think I'm going to start working on this. Milestone Hall. I need to look up the crafting recipe for armor stands because we're going to have a few armor stands dot jotted around for each um, milestone monument type thing because it's got to be monuments in here. So we're going to have two. We're going to have one for two hundred fifty subscribers, and then one for five hundred subscribers, and then we'll do some more. And then we'll I think we'll place a chest on each side, one with a, like a tool we'll donate to it. So I think. I'm going to use this tool for the 500 subscribers and we'll use this one for 200 subscribers. This is our first tool, the first ever tool we made on the world. So, yeah, I think that's a thing. And then the other chest we'll, put, we'll make like a book and we'll write in a few stats like save views and things like that. So, yeah, I'm going to get started and we'll come back and we'll get some more stuff done. Okay, guys, so I've done some work, not much. But I've done some, I've expanded the area we mined out a little bit and I've started laying out what it's going to look like. Something, 
close to what it's going to look like. Of course, it's got, there's going to be some changes like trapdoors on the pumpkins and stuff. But yeah, so basically what my plan is, is in each of these sections, I'm going to have an armor stand and two chests for each thing. And I'm thinking I'm going to put the armor stand on, like on a stand, so it would raise the block compared to the chest and stuff. So it should look pretty good. Now, I'm not going to put um, any decorations on the back wall. I'm going to keep on expanding it maybe in the future. But that is just so because I know we're going to need it in the future for when we grow and, we, and reach other um, milestones. So yeah, that back wall is going to be black. But yeah, this project is coming along pretty well. Just waiting on the grass growing. But yeah, I'm going to keep, continue on with it and we'll see how far we can get. Okay guys, so uh, instead of building the full thing, I decided to build a module to see what it would look like. And well, I wasn't entirely sure, I've went through a few designs, but this is the best one so far. Um, originally, this, um, I had the, what you call them, the, the jack-o'-lanterns, I, I clean for about there. Yeah, I had the jack o' lanterns on the bottom where the stair is, but I decided to change it and I tried an oak stair which it didn't look too good because there's too much oak here, so spruce stair is one of the best ones to put the sign on it. So what we're going to be doing is going to put in the sign, so 250 subscribers, that was difficult to say for some reason, and then the date it was achieved, so that means that 500 subscribers will be on this side and the date will be the 15th of October 2016. Which I'm recording this video two days after that. So yeah, I am liking this. I like how the jack o' lanterns are right behind the armor stand and it just makes it pop. It stands out. So I think we're going to be making all the armor stands iron because it's very, very cheap. And well, I mine a lot of it. I mine all the iron I see because, well, <laughs> yeah, it's very useful. Plus, that means we can make everything. Because if I, if I use diamonds for it, come on, it's too early game, we're only in the fourth episode, we don't have that many diamonds. And of course the grass is slowly growing. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to continue work and we will come back once we have most of this build complete. Well guys, some of you may have noticed this, but in one of the recent clips you would have heard fire in the background. And now when I was editing, I noticed that I didn't know where it was coming from. But I just walked through from our project through there because yeah we've almost finished it I'm now working on the roof yeah it's looking nice and I was walking through and I was looking to see what the I done the roof like for the entrance so that I could try and copy it in there but when I walked out here I discovered that the entrance was gone yes it burned down I don't know how I suspect it was from a thunderstorm or something so I guess we're gonna need to go way up in the sky, to the sky limit and place glass so that this doesn't happen again because yeah that isn't good especially if you've got a base made of wood so I need to quickly repair this and then do the so finish off that area and then we'll call it for today's episode okay guys so I finished the hall and I decided to put an end on it because we're all it looks nice for them, it looks nice for the thumbnail, and well, I don't think we'll expand in this for quite some time. But yeah, um, I'll, I suppose we should go through each of the podiums to see what they are. Um, so we've got the 250 subscriber one, the date it was achieved, 15th of August. Is that August? Yeah, it's August 2016. Now, we have a book, a written book, and if we read this, uh, it basically says the same thing, and then gives us the total amount of views I had in the channel at the time. Which I'm not sure if that's correct. Social Blade says it is, but I don't know. And it says a dedicated item I've put to it. So, the first tool in the world, which is a wooden pickaxe, which is in that chest there. 500 subscribers, which was achieved the 15th of October 2016. And book here as well. And see the views have doubled along with the subscribers and do yeah first time we can access the item we dedicated to it. Okay so next is the 1000 subscriber mark and TBA means to be achieved so I haven't put anything in, I've got the book and quill in there ready so that I can write um, 2500 
5,000 and 10,000. And if we get to this point, which I don't think we will anytime soon, we can expand this hall further. So yeah, I think this project was pretty good. It was a good idea and it just means I can um, immortalise the milestones we reach on the channel. Because, well, yeah, I like to do that. Um, so, so what do you guys think? Do you think the design's okay? I'm not sure about the roof. I actually went through the... went up to the surface when I was placing the pumpkin, so I had to do a little bit of terraforming. So, I think we may need to do a stairway down and go a little bit further underground. And of course, we'll be making stairways down here eventually anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. We don't have enough levels to do a level 13 chant, and well, I'm recording this the next day, so my voice will probably be a little bit different. Also, eventually we're going to go up and glass the whole sky, just so that we don't have the same thing that happened earlier on today, where everything burned away here, yeah, because, well, that was not fun to replace. Let's just say that. But yeah guys, I've achieved everything I hope to achieve this episode. This may be one of the shorter ones, I'm not entirely sure, just let me check. I've already edited everything else. Um, yeah, about 16 minutes or so, so yeah, I think that will do us for today. So as always, if you like this episode, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.